As you know, boundaries of a site and its ground feature must be surveyed accurately to prepare well-drawn maps or plans of the area. The data of the boundaries and other ground features can be collected by the total station in different ways, such as the determination of coordinates, measurement of angles and distances, and processing of data. Let us now know a little more about each of them. You can determine it coordinates of any point on a site with reference to a point of known coordinates by setting out a direct line of sight between them. To set a direct line of sight, you can keep the total station at the point with the known coordinates and hold the prism reflector at the other point. If you are able to see the reflector in the total station clearly, it means that a direct line of sight can be set between the two points. Modern total stations are equipped with digital barcodes printed on glass cylinders or disks that can be rotated. Features of the total station such as Electro-optical scanning and digital bar codes enable you to measure the exact angle precisely. The total station is also equipped with a solid-state device that emits infrared signals or microwaves which are reflected by the prism reflector. The data processing device that is built into the total station reads the reflected waves or signals and calculates distances based upon the strength and pattern of the reflection. With special features such as image matching and 3D modeling, a total station can also generate maps and diagrams of the site and other objects. The data recorded by a total station can also be transferred to a computer, which can use the data to prepare maps and plans. So remember, these are the different ways in which data of boundaries and other ground features can be collected by the total station.